Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. This winter in the Western Cape and there's a lot of water around. We are driving along the West Coast Road and we're on our way to Elands Bay. We are booked to camp at Fenster Clip Guest Farm. Fenster Clip is about 220 kilometers from Cape Town. It is a good tar road until the turn off to the campsite. The last 100 meters or so is a very good gravel road to get to the campsite. We are booked to stay at one of the six private campsites. The numbering of the campsite is quite clear. We quickly pitched our camp so that we could admire the beautiful sunset. The campsites are situated next to the Verloren Flay and as it was winter time the Flay was full of water which was beautiful. Soon darkness fell and we made fire in our Poiki King. It was overcast and it wasn't long before it started drizzling and we could easily move the Poiki King under the awning for our bride. Next morning we woke up to an overcast and rather chilly day. It was still a very nice view. As mentioned, we were booked to stay at one of the six private campsites. Each one of the campsites have a view of the Verloren Flay. If you stay at the private campsite, you will have your own private ablution facility. The back of the ablutions are decorated with paintings of local wildlife. As you are only allowed to have one car on a campsite, you can park your extra car at the back and then enter the campsite from the back. Each campsite has a built-in braai and next to it a basin with hot and cold water and an electric light. We just love the no music sign. Underneath the workspace there is two three-point electrical plugs. Each campsite has its own private ablutions. There is a flush toilet and hot water comes from an electric geyser. The basin also has a hot and cold water tap. There is a lot of space where you can put your clothes and belongings and the shower with hot and cold water is also big and spacious. Here you will also find more three-point electrical plugs. Hartzog was very impressed with the chopping block. We decided to make some breakfast and I fried onions, peppers, bacon and leftover sausage in a pan. You can whisk four eggs and mix it with a little bit of milk and then add it to the mixture in the pan. Leave it for a couple of minutes while you make yourself a cup of coffee and add a thick slice of bread to that and then you have a very nice breakfast camping egg cake. This is how I tricked my brother's kids to eat scrambled eggs. Just call it a breakfast camping egg cake. There's also a lot of other activities on the premises and Saba decided that it was time for us to go have lunch at the restaurant. 
the inside part of the restaurant is quite cozy, especially on winter days. You can also sit outside and there's a big play area for kids. I can recommend the food, it was quite tasty. Also on the premises is the Roy Stoer. This is a farm store where you can buy all sorts of things. Here you can buy anything from sweets, pies, condiments, homemade foods, clothing, books, anything you can imagine. It's quite an interesting place to have a walk around in. We took a leisurely stroll down to the Valoran Flay. This flay is quite popular with bird watchers. Then it was playtime for Sava. She still likes running after her ball. She's very impressed when a campsite is pet friendly. After the long busy day, Sava was exhausted and she had relaxed next to the fire. Soon it was time to pack up and leave. If you liked our video, please hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Happy camping!